We're going to iterate over a string now, which we have done before, but we're going to do it in a better way. In case we need the scanner, I'm just going to leave that scanner code up there. And we're going to need our fruit back. That was a string. Well, let's get crazy and go for orange. No, I want to get a word that's not six that I can spell. Grape. Brute. All right, that does not have length of six. Okay, so if I put six here, what's going to happen? It's going to run six times. Oh, come on, plus plus i. All right. So what it's going to do is grab the first six letters. And it's going to print. I don't want the ln, but I do want an extra space. So let's do that. Grape f... And then we'll sout nothing, just to give us a new line at the end. I, I like the build successful to appear on the next line. Okay, so this is just printing out the first six letters. Now, if I know, I can count up how many are in here. I'm going to guess 10, probably be wrong. Hey, all right, I was wrong about being wrong. But there's a way better way to do this, because maybe you want to change to grape fruits, and now you're only going to get the first 10 characters there. So we do, the variable's fruit, so I'm going to do fruit dot. This tells you every method that you can call on the string. And what we're going to do is length. You're going to see us use some more of uh, these later. But the length is the number of characters inside the string. Now we run it, we see grape fruits. Put a space in, you see the space show up. Grape orange fruits. You see grape orange fruits. Uh, so that adapts to however long your string is. Very, very useful. So the next method we're going to look at is char at. You did maybe saw that on the list. Oh, just kidding. We did char at. Um, let's reverse it this time. So we're going to create a variable called length, which lets us not call the method each time. Oh, I deleted my semicolon. And it's angry because I did declare the uh, string fruit, but it's below. So the execution order, it's going to execute line 21 before 22. I just switched the order. Everybody's happy because now the string exists and then you can call the method. So instead of char at i, we're going to do length minus i. And run that. Whoa, string index out of bounds. All right, or out of range, 19. So what is happening? Let's get a way smaller number in here and run it again. All right, what I'm gonna do here is Underneath grape, I'm writing the indexes of each letter in grape, and you can see there's no fifth letter. All right, so length, there is five letters, and we subtracted i, but i is zero the first time through. So we have a slight problem. So there's a few ways to fix it. I could do length minus one right there. So I take length down by one, and then subtract i, and we run it, and we see eparg or grape backwards. So you want to be a little bit careful about that because length will give you, if you just go char at length, for example, you're going to immediately get index out of bounds, out of range, uh, at five. So generally, if you're going to use length for indexing, you usually want to use length minus one. Uh, now, of course, we didn't change that, so it's just E, the fifth letter, or I should say the fourth letter every time. So let's put it back to minus one minus i. All right, there's another way to fix this. You could do minus i, start i at zero. All right, what happened to the g? Generally, if you're gonna start at one, you want to go uh, either less than equal or greater than or equal. And that will uh, go for one extra iteration. 